It was the October half term, so we decided to take the kids to Kingston Lacey for a runabout. And uh, the first thing we noticed upon coming in is how much open space there was. There's plenty of space for families to have picnics, play games and gather. But we just wanted to get straight to the cafe, get a couple of sausage rolls and some drinks. The cafe was fully stocked. Teas, coffees, sandwiches, cakes, sausage rolls, everything you could possibly want. So we got some snacks and we headed off on the Woodland Trail. The Woodland Trail will lead you through the beautiful woodland along old carriage drives that were created by the Banks family. It reveals stunning views of the house and parkland and uh, you might even come across the estate's herd of Red Ruby cattle along the way. We passed a tent that offered autumn crafts between 11 o'clock and 3 o'clock but we wanted to get the walk started while the weather was nice and we decided that we would probably head back for the crafts later. The first place we arrived to after about 5, five to 10 minutes was this park and it was fully stocked with lots of fun activities for the kids. We really enjoyed spending time there. It actually looks like it was a pretty new park, um, it, I believe it has recently been installed um, but there's certainly lots to keep the kids interested, lots of space around it and benches and seating area so if you te did take the kids there you could take a flask of coffee or sit down again have a bite to eat, a cake from the shop maybe and bring your own picnic um, but it really was a little fantastic area um, that kept them busy for quite some time. So, little more details about the Woodland Trail. Um, it is very easy. I would say it takes between an hour or two, depending on your ability, uh, whether you've got kids. Um, it's three miles in total, uh, which is 4.8 kilometers. Um, easy access, and it is dog friendly, but dogs must be kept on a lead. So Kingston Lacey is absolutely massive. Um, there is eight and a half thousand acres of estate, and this is just one of the things you can do here, which is the Woodland Walk. Um, they have um, Japanese gardens, a kitchen garden, uh, where Queen Victoria once sent her own gardeners for inspiration, believe it or not. But it has a fantastic history. So over the centuries, the Banks family built, altered, embellished and rebuilt their house and uh, the wealth came from extensive estates and profitable marriages including inherited wealth from the Caribbean plantations. Uh, William John Banks created the house that we know today and it was a fantastic time of year to be there. There were still leaves on the trees but they were falling rapidly all around us and the colours around us were fantastic. Woodland Walk gives you some fantastic views of the main house and uh, it was also nice to see some colour and some flowers coming through still. So it's back to the crafts tent where we designed a nice little autumn display completely free of charge, it's included in the ticket price. Um, we've been a couple of times a year and they always have some sort of craft there. So. We've just come round to the main house now, on our way out, just to have a look at it in all its glory and have a look at the big lawn at the front. Absolutely loads of space to run around and have fun. Worth saying as well, the bank's collection of ancient Egyptian artefacts is one of the largest private collections in the UK. There's a lot of information there about the um, artefacts on site but it's just another little twist and what is always a fantastic place to visit. You can spend as long as you want here. We've spent all day before. We've taken, taken ball games, uh, a blanket and a picnic and just, just played there all day. Uh, but it's just a really nice, safe, tranquil place to be. We really enjoyed the Woodland Walk. We can never go to Kingston Lacey without visiting the shop where the kids looked at lots of overpriced toys, crafts, gifts, and uh, there were 
lots available on offer, including lots of local produce, pickles, sauces, um, all sorts of um, local produce and sweets. And we we always come away with a couple of jars or something. But really nice trip. It was during half time, so it's about as busy as it gets this time of year. There are loads of displays of um, artifacts and old bits of furniture and old ways of doing things. Brilliant time. <laughs>